Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alexander and today I will guide you through the general settings of CS Card. Let's begin. To access general settings in the admin panel, go to Settings – General. And the first setting here is Alternative Currency Display Format. There are two options available – Show Prices in Selected Currency only and Show Prices in Default and Selected Currencies. Let me show you how it works. We choose the second option and save changes. After that, we move to the products page on the storefront and switch from the default currency to the secondary one. As a result, two currencies are displayed at once. Next, two settings are related to each other and define the general weight settings of the store. Be sure to enter the true weight symbol and the exact number of gram contained in that symbol, because the weight of the product depends on them. The Close Storefront setting. Tick this and you will close the storefront for customers. Useful when you need to make a redesign of your store or a small maintenance. See, now your customers are unable to reach the storefront. Access key to temporarily close store is a thing that you will need to get access to the closed storefront. Initial order ID value. Sounds complicated, but actually it only defines what number will be used for the first order in your store. It is useful if you had a web store before and you want to save the order counter. The order ID can be seen at Orders – View Orders. The next setting is related to taxes. Tax calculation method can be based on two different options – subtotal and unit price. When calculation is based on subtotal, taxes also include discounts and shippings. But when we use unit price as a basis, taxes include only the raw price of products in the order. What's next? Help us improve software. There are two feedback options – manual and automatic. Manual feedback is provided by this form any time when you want it to provide. To do it, just click Send. Automatic feedback allows CS Card to send data by itself. Check for updates automatically. CS Card will notify you about any new available updates, including system upgrades. Untick the checkbox to disable this feature. The last general setting here is Monitor changes in core files. With this setting being enabled, your store can automatically check for modified core files every time you log in to the admin panel. So, if some core file differs from the default one, the following notification will appear when you open the admin panel. Some of your core files have been changed. This may become a problem when upgrading CS Card, as changes in these files may be lost. By the way, you can manually check for core alterations by using the File Changes detector. And the last setting for today is the default location section. The default location is used when a customer does not specify his address during registration or checkout. You can specify your store or company address in this field or any other address you see fit. That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card video tutorials.